Whilst it doesn't change your schedule results, being able to set a realistic advanced direction for your solids in Spry was previously only practical through scripting. The solid advanced direction tool released in Spry version 4.9.3 now allows you to control this visual element easily with a slightly modified version of a text path. To open the tool, use the right click menu against the table you want to change the solids for and choose the solid advanced direction. The simplest way to get started is to use the insert button and to make adjustments to the fields in this pop-up window. So you can select nodes, which solids you want to apply the changes to, and the advanced direction. The default direction in Spry is 90 degree angle. You can see in the image below that that's off uh, if I want to go from left to right by about 90 degrees. So if I turn that to 180 and click accept, you'll see the line gets inserted. Now one thing to note is that similar to the initial state tool, the solid advanced direction is cumulative. So lines below will override lines above if they overlap. So I'm going to remove this because otherwise it will override it with the default. Now if you're unsure of the angle that you want to choose, you can use the measure distance tool to get the bearing and grade and make corrections. So using the measure distance tool and the output window, we can measure across roughly what angle we want to take and get the bearing. Now this one's 187 and I've got 180, so I'll make that adjustment. You can also add the grade in as well. And once you're done, you click the apply button. And once it's finished running, you click the reload solids button and once those solids are reloaded you'll see the new direction. If you have any questions about this new feature or anything else as always please don't hesitate to contact us at support.precisionmining.com uh, or give us a call during business hours.